Remember when I said that Bono would be my first choice left back and I wouldn't be replacing him anytime soon? Well, he got injured and then I realized I probably need another left back because of registration rules. And with his injury and the fact he was the only first choice left back in the team at the time, it made sense to bring someone else in. That person is Patrick Kovacs and a left back who's 18 years old and can play the wing back on attack that I want straight off the bat. Made a lot of sense to bring him in. He also likes to get forward whenever possible. So he's very much a player that will get forward and do good things. The fact he was at once upon a time at Red Bull Salzburg is probably a sign of things. That being said, I don't know what the heck the Academy RB Salzburg team is, but whatever. They paid half a million for the guy and they only played him once. And now he's back in Hungary. So clearly something's gone wrong. He's at MTK Budapest. He's on loan to us. And as far as I'm concerned, this guy made a lot of sense to bring in. He's a good player for our division. He is also consistent. And yes, he could become a top flight player in the future, but we're not paying a single penny for his wages, even if it's only £220 a week. And as far as I'm concerned, this made a lot of sense. He can be a cool, so I've got to make sure we are playing him as a regular starter, which is fine, because we should be good there. And we've also made a lot of backroom staff signings, which has caused us to lose a bit of money in the overall balance. We're now down from 606,000 to 380,000, and we are projected to lose a lot of money, which, in my defense, not terrible. We're still making a profit, apparently, which really makes me wonder what on earth they were doing before. But I managed to give it to the board to let me have a set-piece coach. We brought in Juricic Sonic as a set-piece coach. I know it's not amazing, but he does the role perfectly fine. And he gives us a two-and-a-half-star training staff. So I had to improve the training. I have to improve the rack staff. So as far as I'm concerned, this guy was a welcome addition. Even if he was my last addition, I literally couldn't tell you who else came in because of the fact that this staff transfers thing is still broken. How is that still broken, honestly? We also brought in a new fitness coach, I believe. I really can't remember who I brought in, which is awkward. What I do know is we've brought in a new head performance analysis and Tomekovic is quite good at the role. For us, for us at least for now. He's on a three-year deal. It may sense if I might bring him in. He has a Serbia and Thailand knowledge, which, fair enough, I wasn't expecting it. And apparently he can also be a coach, which, let's be honest, he's a really good coach. And... To have this guy as our head performance analysis is very useful indeed. We also brought in Jason Windsor, which I know I've just brought in the former Newport County head performance analysis as my performance analysis, but what can you do? We did get Popovich as well. That's fun. And yes, Stefan did officially sign for us as well. So a happy signing here. We got Jaden Tyra as a sports scientist. We also got Peter Maggie as a head sports scientist. So I know it's not great, but... It's the best we could get at the time. We've also got a new Chief Scout. He did have someone else try to poach him as well, but we officially convinced it to sign for us. So clearly our offer is quite good. He's going to lend times more money than he was at FK Rad. So there you go. We also got Mir Drag, and I think that Trevor Novic is quite good. We also got Lobos Holly as a recruitment analysis. Christopher Dawn's also signed for us as a second team coach. So he's useful for us there. He's also studying for a new coaching badge. And we started working towards building up our under 19s team as well. Delic is quite good, I think, as a manager. So that's useful. And I believe he was the last person we brought in. So if I had brought someone else in, I couldn't tell you because this is blank. It's broken. How is it still broken? That being said, we've only brought one person in. We've not let anyone go out. So... Let's go to the first game of the year, shall we? And the first game of the year is BVSC. That, that's literally how you say the name. BVSC Loglo, I believe. But they got a player called Vinicius who looks decent as a centre back. He's I didn't realize he was 33. He's got seven cats for Hungary, so it's a former international. And once upon a time was playing in South America. So clearly his South American heritage was getting there. And he just signed for Fun Vab, played there for many, many years. Got his Hungarian citizenship, I assume, from that, and then moved on, and has only just come back this year. So, clearly things have happened. But this team are predicted to be in 13th, and don't have great value. They don't look very good. And if I look at the system preview here, they are newly promoted as well, 
and it's supposed to be in 15th, so it's gone worse for them. But they've got Vinicius, who's the best, one of the best defenders in the league. So clearly, they managed to convince some of the time for them. And as far as I'm concerned, this should be a game we win. Now, I've had a few injuries. I've also had a few things that I need to look at. And I realized the rules that I need to have one player under the age of 20 in the plane 11, which is why my left back is currently playing here, the guy we just brought on loan. Slightly awkward. I didn't realize that was actually going to bite me. And it needs to be a player that's born after the first of the first in 2004. We've also got a few injuries to talk about as well. But we also need to have two players under the age of 20 born in that period. We've got plenty of those. They're just all on the bench. So I think at some point the players who are in the starting lineup that are on the older side are going to be forced out. And we'll just bring in some younger talent that are good enough for it. We do have some players I would have started today that aren't really fit enough to play, but that's fine. And for the most part, this is going to be my start on a lineup. For the most part, it's all the players I talked about before. Admittedly, this guy I was going to play as my left winger is playing on the right. Because while it's not his natural position, he's going to be able to play it. And Norbert is going to start as the left winger today. He's most likely better as a striker, but I can definitely use him as the left inverse winger on the left. So, it's not terrible. I also realise a lot of these players are good enough for the, the division we're in. But that's fine. We can work with this. Let's see how we do in our first game in charge of Budapest Honvéd in the second tier of Hungarian football. My first ever game in Hungary. So, highlight that we've seen. It's the first highlight that I can really say we've seen so far. And I'm expecting us to do good things as a recent win against a team against a newly promoted side you'd expect us to do well here it's unlike what i was doing in well high end earlier in the year where we are a new promoted side trying to survive we're now the complete opposite where we just need to get promoted straight off the bat and if we don't do that then something's gone very very wrong but i'm using the same system at all and as far as i'm concerned this should work but we've lost the ball here we've been pressed and now they're going to try and get us on the counter and they scored. They scored, but he's offside. That's lucky. Okay, so they got a throw. I don't know what to expect, but I assume because they're starting as the ball's gone out, we're going to get it back quickly. We do. That's good. Kovacs on the ball. And his Holman plays it in. That looks offside. That looks offside. And it is. So it would have made a difference anyway. Okay, that's not ideal. We've not been very good in this game so far, and we need to do better and quickly. Okay, so there's a harder immediately after we start the second half, so I didn't think much would come from this, but if we get a goal back from this, that'd be great. I generally don't know what to expect from this. Most because I've never managed this country. I don't know how it's going to work. As far as I'm concerned, because of the thing cohesion being so bad, I don't think we're going to have the best of starts. But I know we can definitely do good things here. As they are going to try and play the ball forward quickly. And that is an opportunity already. They're down on our left-hand side. It's not great. They played across and they've actually scored. Well, that's annoying. And I can't believe it. I'm I'm not going to lose my first game in charge, am I? I know I've had a bad start. With, well, high end and my bad end. I surely, it surely cannot be because they got lucky that like, we're going to lose this game, is it? Okay, we've got a free kick. He's gone for goal. It's a great save. And we didn't go for it. Corner now. We're going to try and do something with this. And they've scored. Oh, that's brilliant. What a header. Colin Nick Pierce has done that. That's an outstanding header. Wowzers. I didn't think anything was going to come from this, but that is such a good header. The keepers had no chance. What a goal. Magnificent. Okay, we're going to make another change. They got a free kick. It's head of the way. Now that we've got that goal, I'm feeling a bit more confident in the team, actually, because I know we can score from these set pieces, and maybe we should be lucky that we're still in this because of how bad we've been, but... That's good. Well done. You got the ball back. If we can keep the ball nicely here, that'd be good. Lorik is going to be taken off. So Lovic is coming off sooner or later. Here's Holman. Now, a counter-attack could be on. We are very much all stream forward here. We need to get a good cross or something. We have done. 
It's going to cost again. I don't know how that's gone in, but I'm not complaining. Kerasi has scored an outstanding goal. This is great. This is what I was hoping for. Yes, I wasn't expecting the long run forward and the cross in, but I'm not complaining. How has this gone in? It's gone on the floor. It's bounced on the floor. It's gone above the goalkeeper, but the angle is incredibly tight. Well, we lead now. Okay, I've... Because I went more positive, we got the two goals. So was that all I needed to do this entire time? It's not a concern if that is the case, but they got a chance that they've equalized. I can't believe it. Well done, Hovex scores again. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great. Oh my god. Well, that's our, that's not ideal. This is not how we should be starting our season. Who is that? Oh, we've got two Kovacs. I just realized both our fullbacks are called Kovacs. That's fun. And it was the other one. It was our it was our one that screwed up. Brilliant. We've got a throw. We're going back to balance. I think the fact I didn't go back down to balance was annoying, and their keeper's going to get that comfortably. I'm hoping I'm not going to regret that decision now, as Coxis has actually had a bad game. This really tells you just how unused to my team I am right now that I genuinely cannot tell you who is my best lineup right now but I'm looking at some of these players and I'm thinking well okay I can take out some of these players because I got let down by them with their ratings and Boxer he's got two assists he's now got a goal he's our best player we've got to build a team around this guy because he's been involved in all three goals and that's his first ever goal for the club outstanding this player is outstanding and he is my talisman now. Boxe with the outstanding start and outstanding game. Two assists and a goal in the second half. And the highlight's not even ending yet. We've still got another highlight. Oh my god. And we not please. If they score if they score a third. Or can we get a fourth? Can we get a fourth? Not with pass that, that would not. Who is that? Who am I going to blame for this finish? No. Okay, who was it? I, I need to check this out. Where's the where's the camera thing? Where's the camera thing? Here we go. Let's go back. Who screwed up here? I was praising him as well, and he does that to me. Of course he does. God's sake. Well, we survived. I can't believe I literally have to say we survived, but that's what it felt like in the end. We win 3-2. Hallelujah. Wasn't the best, but we got the result. I'm happy with that. And maybe, just maybe, we should look at this and say, we've got reasons to be excited right now. And apparently, we've managed to do well enough that we're top of the table. No one won by more than the goal. That's fun, isn't it? Holman spent his return to Hungary. I didn't realize he'd even left, but... Yep, he's went to Slovakia for a while, to be fair. I generally had no idea he'd been out of the country for so many years. But yeah, this guy has been outstanding. I've got to build a team around him. Bertalan, I'm going to make you my talisman now. You are the player that I'm going to build the future around. 100%. Thank God he's got no release clause. But yeah, it's first game of the season. First game in charge. Didn't really want it to be that dramatic, but I'll take it either way as we managed to survive and get our first win of the year. And hopefully the first of many in both the season and the save. This is going to be our long-term plan. I hope you're here for the ride. What I'm going to do though is end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys will like and share this video. And that you're subscribed to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. But anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.